Oh god, I practically forgot about this this outfit. I was like, what is on my screen when I came back to this? Uh, I'm still not entirely sure if I got what she wanted. She was on my lap literally as I was saying that sentence, and then she's and now she's gone and left, so I don't know if she's gonna be back, but cats be fickle, man. What can I say? What do you got for me, buddy? You this I love the look of these guys. They're so cute. Climbing the mountain used to be a piece of cake, but the path up to our stew pot has crumbled to pieces. There's no way up there now, not unless you can sprout wings or hitch a ride with a flappy type. A flappy type, huh? Like, perhaps one of these... doe white birds? <laughs> oh my god, Cap... Cappy has a party hat. There's something kind of intimidating about it almost. Look at that spin, dude. That's unreal. Are you like a little... like a child? See that slab of meat? Sure you do, but that bird hasn't. Not yet. Don't know what he's waiting for. When he sees it, though, that bird's gonna make off with our meat. I bet you anything he does. Double or nothing. I don't know, dude. I think that bird's just super chill. He does have, like, a little thought bubble above his head. He's, like, thinking about meat. I don't know how we know that, but, you know, I'm not gonna question it too much. It's a Mario game. <laughs> Let it be. Hey, uh, you find any turnips? Plop them right in my soup. Gold ones, too. Oh, yeah, especially those goldies. Are you gonna pay me for it, or are you just gonna... Just gonna request it. All right, so we're looking for turnips here. I assume we'll get a moon or some sort of some sort of reward out of that at the very least. He wouldn't leave me high and dry, surely not. All right, what else are we looking at here? There's this, which I don't think I really need to use, but oh, hold on. So I think I've already been up here, right? Well, maybe not this high, but. Please just eeks of personality. I love it, dude. I love this so much so far. Just the look of the Kingdom on its own is enough to sell me on it. And... Man, all right. I don't want to. I don't want to get too <laughs> too uppity here. To, about just. I, I just love this game, though. There's something about it. Ooh, can I go under there? By any means? Hmm. I'm curious. All right. We'll have to keep that one in mind. How do they make these like? <laughs> How are these things, like these formations in the lava, how does that even work? Salt Pile Isle. No, not the, not a prime destination for, uh, like a honeymoon or anything, but... Better than nothing, I suppose. It's, it is an island. Give it that much. So I got this up here, what- oh gosh! Oh, I can go through those platforms? I hadn't the faintest idea. That's pretty cool. I'm down to clown, and I'm just, I mean, I'm not just saying that because, I mean, maybe I am just saying it a little bit because I'm a clown, but... Oh man, this is just a fun time. So we obviously want to take this secret path, the path, le path less traveled here, but I do also see that. So it looks like I've actually stumbled upon the correct way to go, I wouldn't have thought, honestly. Oh no! <laughs> What is this music, even? Oh, gosh, my face is all itchy from... I was, I was just petting my cat for a good few minutes there to s hopefully satisfy her. Don't know if it worked. I haven't heard her yet, though, so we'll see. All right, where am I trying to get to here? I can go, like, one of those. Oh, okay. Um... So, oh, my God! <laughs> That's not what I intended to do at all, really. I mean, what did I expect, though? I suppose... All right, no, no, no! Oh, this is not good. This is not gonna end well for me. Oh, I thought that was lava that I was gonna start bouncing on, but it was just, it's just the little pink abyss. The little pink abyss that could. Anything hiding up here that I should be aware of? I do feel it rumbling in my Joy Cons all of a sudden? It used to just be invisible coins. Now it's all, now it's all rumbles and shit. Look at that rumble pack. Remember. <laughs> God, how far we've come from the Rumble Pack. Does anyone here even remember what a Rumble Pack is? I never had one for my for my N64. But boy, how I wanted one. It was like, you'd be the pinnacle, you'd be the talk of the town with that Rumble Pack, dude. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Alright, so we want to go up like this to get that, and then we'll get, yeah, just like that. That's, that's really all I wanted to do when I, when I went back and I ended up dying for it. I just wanted those coins, dude. What can I say? 
Alright, well this is far too easy. Fork flick into the summit. Gotta be something hiding over there. Yeah, you sure as hell know it. What's the best way to go about getting there? Probably just that, right? <laughs> just a little tricky sideways long jump. What is? What even is a sideways long jump? I'll let you be the judge. Fork flicking detour. It's finger licking good. It's fork flicking good. Oh. Nice catch. I feel like they give you a decent amount of leeway with that. I feel like it was not too accurate there. Oh boy. We've hit the mother load, boys. That's at least almost 20 coins right there. Hoo ah. Making up for the money we spent playing those slots. We only spent 10 coins on that. That is such a good deal for the for that slot game, dude. At any rate, let's keep on heading around here. There's something here. Something tells me it's not going to be a moon proper, but uh, I, I mean, I'm glad to be proven wrong, I, spo I suppose. Isle of Salt floating in the lava. You know, I do appreciate the sheer quantity of moons and stuff in this game, but I feel like they've lost something in the naming of the moons, because obviously they had to name, like, a ton of moons. So, some some of them are going to be named better than others, but... Isle of Salt floating in the lava. Like, come on. That's someone who's, like, been working on this for, like, a hundred... Like, they're on their 99th of their 100-hour week. And they're, they got, they're like, I gotta think of names for ten more moons. And they, they come up with, like, semi-decent ones for the first nine, and then the tenth one, they're just focusing on it. And they're like, it's just an Isle of Salt floating in the lava. Fuck it, I gotta go home, dude. And then they, that's just, they just punch that in. And then no one ever questions them on it. Because it's Shigeru Miyamoto. I don't know, dude. So just I'm just saying, some of the names, a little bit uninspired. That's all I'm saying. Everything else about this game, just top-notch as far as I'm concerned, but... Let's go ahead and pick up these. Oh my god, there's pretty sure this is a dead end. Well, thanks for at least letting me know, Cappy, instead of making me drive my head up a wall trying to get up this thing or something. Did get five purple coins. Uh, that's a rare, large cache of purple coins, I'll say that. Not often. I mean, it's most usually in twos and threes. Very rarely in five. Even skipped clean over four. Is there something? There's like a weird like crater here. I don't know what this is about. I don't know. Maybe there'll be something that appears here later on. That'll be my initial inclination, I suppose. Did I ever go all the way around here? Oh my gosh, my eye is like so itchy all of a sudden. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, dude. Oh, yeah, I did. There was, like, a bunch of purple coins or something over there. Hold on, my freaking... Oh, my gosh. I must have gotten, like, cat hair or something in my eye. Oh! Oh! It's just the one eye, though. That's so weird when that happens. Maybe someone's talking about me. You know, some some people's ears burn, my eye burns. It's much more, it's much more unpleasant and doesn't make anywhere near as much sense. Not that ears burning makes a whole lot of sense to begin with, but the whole fact that it's ears is uh, more what I'm referring to there. Alright, let's get on up here. See what's what about this place. I still have to see how to get to the other side of that uh, little lava fall there. Also gotta get up this. This is his own little platforming challenge as a potaboo. I love it. Of course, I may be speaking too soon because it seems a little, a little precise. <laughs> oh gosh. No! Alright. You gotta get this on, like, the upswing. So it'll, like, shoot up, and then it's like, oh! You get a little bit extra height. Just like that. And then just jump on up here, and we're golden. Beautiful. Anything hiding down, like, the side here? I know if I was making this, I would hide something around the side. I do see something around that side, but I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to get to that a different way, probably. Nice try, buddy. He thought you thought he was good. he was trying to ledge trap me there. You see that? Goomba for smash, please. How do I get this Goomba over there? Maybe I don't. Maybe this Goomba's. Maybe it's just a Goomba. You never know. You don't have to capture every Goomba, I suppose. 
Of course, I could also... I don't know what, what that's purpose... Because I could, I could make it stack the two Goombas if I capture that Goomba and, like, walked him down to the other one or something. What is... Deal with this. Oh, can I ground pound this? No. Okay. They mentioned in the brochure that there's, like, a way to chisel that, or at least that the locals do chisel it, and they're like, feel free to join in! Which seems just like a conspicuous thing to just say in a brochure. It's like, how many people are showing up with chisels here? We need that meat up there to finish our stupendous stew. Mm, but I'm sure that crazy bird is gonna go after it. Mm. I mean, you're all saying that, but that bird hasn't done a damn thing since I've been here, is all I'm saying. Mm, what's it covered with? Mm, salt. Mm, that's how we treat our meat before dripping it in the tasty stew. Mm, extra tasty! I'm sure, dude. Stupendous stew, now with 1,000% of your daily sodium intake. Alright, buddy. We are gonna go throw throw an attack, shake, shake. What are you talking about, Cappy? <laughs> I think Cappy's talking to me a little more than he has been in the past. Can I use this guy to, like, smish his... Oh, I can. I had a feeling, dude. Just throwing... This is a waste of some good frying pans. I hope these aren't, like... I don't know what's a what's the what's a frying what's the primo frying pan brand? I don't know nearly enough about that to make any sort of educated guess even. Alright, so we got that. So we gotta break open enough of these, to, I guess, to get uh to get all the little micro moons. Oh, I see that up there too. Alright. Can I get like Oh I can actually. Just get all the way clean up here. Works for me, dude. Climb the cheese rocks. Oh, gosh. Sorry, I'm itching my eye again. It's just not going away. I don't know what it is. All right, so now that we've done that, we just gotta, I guess, excavate this place until we find all the, uh, until we find all the moon shards. That's another one there. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> These guys, their, their method of locomotion, where they just, like, all right, get out of here with that. Where they just hop around. They never stop hopping. That's that's their creed, dude. Alright. I gotta be careful here. But I don't want to break so much that I'm... That I don't have any room to stand, you know? What is in here? There's another one. Okay. Aha! Found the fourth one. Now, where would the fifth one be? Is it just under this thing? No, that would be too simple. I'm gonna kill both of those guys. Hmm. I mean, I can stand here breaking these things all day. Maybe it's inside this one. Well, I don't know. This probably isn't safe to be, like, breaking out this entire thing, but I feel like it's gonna stay stationary, even if I break all this. It doesn't look like this is amounting to much anyway. So, where is that last moon shard? I mean, just break everything at this point, I suppose. No harm in it. There's an unlimited supply of these frying pans, so who even gives an F? Who even gives a flying frying pan? Oh, what is that? I see it. there's like a little like mini platform or something here. Do you see this? Oh, it's like a little hidden... So oh gosh! Oh, it's just like a little... Oh my god. How did I not see that? There's like a little border there and everything? Okay, well that was just... I, I was on the verge of breaking just about every single piece of this cheese puzzle, dude. That's wild. Excavate and search. I certainly did that. My god, that was that was a little much. But we got both moons out of it, so we are good to go. Good to continue on our ascent up the, up the mountain. Alright, buddy. Ha ha ha! Let's break through all this cheese. I'm a cheese-breaking pro at this point, it feels like. How am I meant to get that moon? Probably gotta excavate through this cheese wall over here, I would assume. Probably part of it in some, some way. Only one of us can be the frying pan master, brother. And I'm afraid it's not you. You can try all you like. Just keep on respawning as much as you want there, buddy. My god. <laughs> I've gone mad with power, with frying pan power. This might be the best 
freaking capture ability in the entire game. All, that's all I'm saying. Especially once you start shaking the Joy-Cons and you go freaking machine gun with these frying pans. You do end up missing a lot of it that's just like right in front of you though. Can I hit this like switch of the frying pan or do I gotta cappy it up? I think I gotta, I gotta leave my frying pan son behind, unfortunately. Get these little beans out of here anyway. Because why not? Alright, we've had our fun little buddy. Go ahead and take care of that at any rate. Is this our objective moon? This is the one that we're actually like searching for, right? For whatever reason, this is gonna unlock some magical fount of mystery. God, I love... I don't know, I've never been... I'm sure this kind of sets some people off, this, uh, this outfit, this clown outfit. Like, some people are just really freaked out of clowns. I've never been in that, uh... I've never been of that mindset. I just I fucking love the look of clowns, honestly. Big pot on the volcano, dive in. Like they can be creepy, don't get me wrong. There's certainly uh there's certainly aspects of them that can be made creepy. But just like a clown like this, just on just, she's a clowning around. Look at him. He's such a beautiful, beautiful color palette and a big honking nose and these big honking shoes and everything about a clown is just honk 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 all day long. Alright, so we gotta continue our way way the hell up. How do we even get like close to getting up there? We're gonna need, like like they said, some kind of flappy bird friend, right? Alright, before we start worrying about any of that, though, let's go ahead and pop on out of here and see what's what down here. Oh, this is the other side of that, uh, of that lava fall that we saw earlier. Sweet. We want to use this guy. <laughs> just like a nice little home for this potaboo. He's just been living his life here. In nice, pristine safety and comfort, and all of a sudden I take him out on this jo on the joy ride of his life. What gives me the right to do that? I'm motherfucking Mario Mario, baby. It's a me. Didn't you hear me coming? <laughs> Just imagine yourself. You're a potaboo, living your life, your simple life in the Luncheon Kingdom. Everything's quiet. Everything's nice. Bouncing up and down, up and down, just like you did when you were a child. Just like your mother and father. And your forefathers and everything did before you. Living your joyous potaboo life. Your lovely 24-hour lifespan. In the comfort of your... Hold on. <laughs> of your little lava pothole. And then one day, after... After many, many days. Despite the fact that you only live for 24 hours. I don't know how it works, don't ask me. After many days of going up and down, as you do. You hear something, a strange sound that you haven't heard before. You've heard the flapping wings of the bird who's newly located above the volcano. You've heard the metallic clip-claps of the Volbonians walking around. But this is new. You hear, coming from a distance, honk, 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 and it gets louder. Hold on, I gotta finish my story before <laughs> I just got like completely sidelined by the look of that painting. Holy shit. But it gets louder. These honks. Getting louder and louder. Something is approaching. You're currently down. You know the next step. You must go up. As you've done your entire life. You go up, curious as to what this mad honking sound is. Only. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you. Only to be met with a white, pasty-faced man with a bulbous red nose. He looks you dead in the eyes, takes off his colorful party hat. You assume he's going to invite you to a birthday party of some sort. You've never been. You don't even know what a birthday really is. You graciously accept the hat. And your life is no longer your- I don't even know how to end this story, dude. What is this 8-bit Mario clown? Do you see this? This is hilarious. Are these things, like, gonna push me? You know, okay, they're fine. That was- that was a hell of an adventure for a Potaboo, is all I'm saying. And we used him for all of, what, 30 seconds before just ending his life? <laughs> okay, me the right to do that. Anyway, so there's- there's a lot that needs to be talked about. First off, more Potaboos here. 
Actually, these these ones I will classify as lava bubbles because they don't have eyes like Potaboos do. So that that's fine. I'm fine with that. I, I would honestly just call them fireballs if nothing else. Oh, watch out for that. Got that. There's got to be a secret moon hidden around in here somewhere though, right? There always is in one of these 8-bit sections. And it looks like this wall is not quite what it seems to be. Okay, well, I thought it was going to be like a little secret passage or something. We'll head back in there to explore. But first... Are we just going to go play Mario 64 all of a sudden? That's Peach's castle. I'm not going crazy, right? Well, it's, I mean, color me curious. We got to check this out. It's not like I'm going to be able to explore very much of it, depending on where it, puts, where it shoots me out, I guess. By and large, these paintings don't seem to... The Mushroom Kingdom? What a beautiful place. Straight up. The Mushroom Kingdom. Yoshi's house? Yoshi's house? What is... It's a it's a power star? Hold on, hold... I... I didn't know. I had no idea. What is the sign? Yoshi? Hello, sorry I'm not at home, but I have gone to Peach's castle. Yoshi. Yoshi. My dinosaur son. We gotta look. We have to have a look around. Please. Oh my gosh. When do I get to come here for real? Yoshi. Are you on the roof? I can't see you. That stained glass window is so iconic. You see the toads over there. Oh my god. I literally... I'm so happy right now, dude. I'm so happy. It brings an almost brings a tear to my eye. And the freaking there's a freaking there's a power star here. There's a power star on top of Yoshi's freaking chimney. <laughs> what the heck? Oh god. Hold on, I'm going to die real quick apparently. Let me climb this tree. I guess is probably a better way to, to get up there. No, oh my gosh. I just want to collect the power star, please. It's the hun it's the rumored 121st power star of Super Mario 64 out here at Yoshi's house all along. They went all in here, dude. They went all in. Oh, and I love it so much. Can I climb this? Apparently power moons come in other shapes. I had no idea. <laughs> Cappy, you don't even know, man. You weren't here back in Mario's golden days. We're gonna have to come back here dressed dressed properly. I'll say that much. Oh, I see the coins. I'm going for it, dude. Oh my gosh. How how am I? Oh, all right. Well, I'm not gonna worry too much about going for all that. It's like so close. It's like I could practically jump that. Practically. Oh. Oh, there's an invisible wall. I'll be back. I will be, mark my words. This is a 100% Let's Play. Of course we're going to be back, but. Anyway, for, for now, let's, let's set this in the back of my mind as some magicalness. Watch Mario's up close face of his clowniness. Oh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. And get back to Mount Volbondo here. The Luncheon Kingdom. My god. That just completely out of left field for me. I I mean, they're all named kingdoms. I should have known Mushroom Kingdom was going to be one of them, right? But it just never crossed my mind that it might even be as majestic as it was.